What's up guys, welcome back. I'm here to introduce you a triplex and it's in the city of Denver. You don't find these very often. I'm really excited to show you this stuff. It's really beautiful and it's also not just operating as a triplex because you know we have a couple of ADUs and the main house, but it's also an Airbnb. And as a seasoned house hacker myself, I wanna make sure that someone else is paying your mortgage and you have a path to financial freedom as soon as possible. So with that being said, let's stick around and watch this video. This is a really cool property tour and I was really stoked that uh, Kevin here reached out to me because he was looking to sell the place and he wanted to come in knowing that my audience might be the ideal audience to buy this property. So let's see what's up. And a little bit of a transparency here, I'm actually not in Denver right now. And thanks to real estate, it has helped me fund my life, this lifestyle of living in a van. Uh, I might be able to show you a video of this. Uh, my van is just over here. Um, it's what we've been living in for the past two-ish weeks. We're actually on our way to Nashville and Virginia. Uh, really excited to tell you guys that journey, but nonetheless, um, I want to make sure that you, that real estate is funding the lifestyle that you want. And that's why I wanted to bring that up. So this is why I make this channel. I want to build wealth for you and your family. And there's no better way, in my opinion, than real estate. So first, let's get the bird's eye view. We're actually in the city of Denver, not too far away from the I-70. You are just merely a couple blocks away from the 70, where you can get to downtown Denver and the mountains all within a couple minutes drive. Full disclosure here, the seller actually does not want to make this address public. Uh, he wants to keep it under wraps uh, to, until he finds a serious buyer. Um, with all that being said, maybe the serious buyer is here watching this video right now. So uh, let me know what you think. If you're very interested, make sure you hit me up. All my contact information is in the description below with the text, call me, email me, whatever it might be if you're interested in this property. If you're looking for the numbers behind it, make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I got all the numbers here in what he has had for 2023, the occupancy and all that good stuff. So make sure you keep locked in all the way to the end of the video. And like I said, if you're interested, hit me up. So this triplex was a single family home, but it was zoned for an ADU and the seller completely capitalized on that. He actually converted the detached garage into two more studio units. Right now he's living in one of those studio units and operating the main floor or the main house as a short-term rental and he's operating the other studio the other half as his current office situation but that's up for you to decide if you want to take advantage of the potential revenue with that second studio the main house is a two bed two bath spacious living room a kitchen all that good stuff with like a typical house you also got a washer dryer situation and an unfinished basement for all the cleaner supplies and any sort of extra supplies that you might want to store down there there's also a bunk bed where the washer and dryer is and you can take full advantage of that and have up to six maybe seven people if you want to operate the couch as an extra sleeping situation so as you're touring the home you go through the front door you go through the living room you make a right into the hallway if you make a left through the hallway is the primary bedroom and with that primary bedroom it used to be a two one but the seller converted it into a two bed two bath so it now has a master bathroom situation. And that's really smart of him because one of the best ways to improve the value of your home is through the kitchen and also through the bathroom. So if you remodel the kitchen, that's the most ROI that you can put in a home and also putting in another bathroom, it just puts it on another level for your comps in the neighborhood and in the area. The kitchen looks great. You got the gas stove. Everything looks pretty pristine. You got the butcher block countertops and a lot of cupboards for the cups, mugs, and all that good stuff. And it also comes with four bar stools with a pretty cool canvas area for you to just hang out and chill with the homies. But what attracts people most to the short-term rental is actually the backyard space, and I do not blame them. It's very welcoming. There's a lot of turf here, so you don't have to worry about sprinklers or winterizing and all that good stuff or your water bill awesome on that regard and you don't have to worry about brown spots especially people bringing in their pets um, and you know with the sheer cloth uh, up at the top it's just really attractive for both nighttime and daytime uh, with the market lights it just makes it that much better during the night 
Plus, when guests hang out in the backyard, they don't realize that there's two other units in the backyard. Thanks to all the fencing that's there, everyone that stays in the area, whether it's the house or the two ADUs, it just feels so private when you're just hanging out and, uh, you know, it's not like you're, you, you, you have to feel like you have to be quiet or anything like that. You just feel like it's your own private oasis. And with this fencing, it actually makes it really easy for people to go in and out without having to disturb the other units or the other neighbors. So there's an alleyway entrance and you can also park in the backyard or in the back alleyway. And there's a lot of front of house parking on the main street. So you can either enter through the house or through the side of the house or go through the back alleyway for your side entrances for the ADUs. All in all, it's just very accommodating no matter where you come from. There's an outside common area for the two ADUs in the back. There's a grill with some speakers on the outside and a raised flower bed for people to enjoy the greenery or flowers if that's something that you want to keep up with and things like that. Uh, there's also a shed for any sort of maintenance tools just for you to keep storage if you know you you want to have some extra stuff there's a shed back there as well going into the first adu it's about 350 square feet with a circular couch living room area uh, a bunk with a king bed a kitchenette area and a three quarters bath everything you need just to live and if anything you know with us living in a van i mean if it's something that we might pick up we might just you know stay in this little adu so that we can rent out the main house as a main you know uh, source of income for the short-term rental he decked it out pretty nicely i really like what he did with the place and it just makes things so accommodating uh and a lot of people let's say millennials or gen zers they don't need too much usually they're out and about or hiking or going to downtown it's not like they need to stay in the house for very long and so if profit is the name of the game for you make sure you stay in that adu and rent out the other two units so that you can make maximum income the second unit is approximately 200 maybe 250 square feet and right now he's using it as an office for his business and you know it, I mean, if it were me, I'd probably rent it out and make as much money as possible, but there is that quality of life aspect and you just don't know how many people would actually want to stay in a 200-ish square foot place. So that makes complete sense and you just want to be very conscious of that. Maybe you can give it a shot for a couple of months, see how many people book, especially during the uh, summertime. But uh, nonetheless, maybe if you're really hungry for that income, stay in that 200 square foot studio and operate the 350 square foot and the main house as a short term rental. Lastly, there is a common space between the two ADU units where the garage is. And right in between, there is a washer, a dryer, a big closet in between the two. I mean, you don't have to share that or like you can decide who gets what. I mean, that's all up to you to decide. But what's really cool too is that with the purchase of this property, if the price is right, I mean, at, at what he's listing it as, I should say, he's throwing in his mini smart car. <laughs> kind of insane. Uh, it's the Mercedes, uh, not the Fiat, but like it's, it's the smart car, right? So um, with all that, He's putting it all together and it also comes with a garage. So there is a garage in that common space for someone to park in there and just go right to their unit. So if I, if it were me, I'd probably leave the car there and rent it out into, let's say Tur Turo, where that's like a car rental app and make even more money on the property. So that all makes sense to me. And if it's something, if it's for the really big hustlers out there, I'd say look at that perspective and use that strategy going forward. And now on to the numbers. We're actually looking at a price point of 950,000, which I agree, it's a pretty penny. But let's look how much this additional ADU, additional two ADUs can really offset that mortgage going forward. I recently got the numbers from the seller and it's approximately $50,000 that he got in revenue for about 50% occupancy. And for you hustlers out there, if it's something that you can improve upon, maybe you can make things a little bit more kitschy, uh, get some better decorations or artwork. I mean, he already did a fantastic job already, or maybe even market it a little bit better. You might be able to see better numbers than what you have seen or what I've been seeing uh, for 2023. So with that price point of about $50,000 at 50% occupancy, you're making about $2,900 per month in revenue 
just based on that. So if you can increase the occupancy by let's say 20%, you're making a significant amount more for that property. And now backing up a little bit more, what does the actual debt service look like? So for a million dollar property, we're just gonna round up a little bit with a 6.5% interest rate, assuming about $3,500 in taxes per, uh, per year. And then also assuming about $3,000 per year for annual, or annual insurance, you're looking at a debt service about $6,500 per month. And with that, that also assumes about a 5% down payment as well. So like I said, that $2,900 is only for the main house at 50% occupancy. Imagine what you can make on possibly that 350 square foot or even that 200 square foot place if you were to just maximize the potential income on the whole property. And word on the street is he's open to seller financing. If it's something that you guys are interested in, um, where you don't want to deal with banks, if you want to have some sort of payment from uh, the seller, let me know what's up and I can connect you with him. I mean, of course, I'd say like come in with some skin in the game, right? He wants to make sure that you're a serious buyer and I don't want to waste his time and I don't want you to waste your time. So let me know if it's something you're interested in and I can connect you to it. So that about wraps up the Airbnb triplex tour. I mean, let me know what you think. If this is something that you're interested in and want to see more of, let me know in the comments down below. And if it's something that you're interested in seeing more of, or if you're interested in the property, all my contact information is down below. Make sure you hit like and subscribe because every day that you miss a video of mine, because I wanna make sure that you're generating wealth, right? Over years and generations, the, the more videos you miss, that means you are missing out on opportunities within real estate. So as a house hacker, as an investor myself, and living the life that I want, I mean, this is pretty cool and I want real estate to work for you as well. So with that being said, thanks so much guys for watching and I'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.